Well, on uh, Saturday, you get uh, to drive uh, over to Bowling Green to take on the Bobcats, uh, a ball club uh, that uh, uh, is undefeated as well, uh, led by a great running back, uh, some big dudes, some dudes up front on the offensive side of the ball, uh, and uh, a couple of players that are beginning to uh, assert themselves, and uh, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting ball game. Oh, works. We, you know, we get an opportunity to play football on Thanksgiving weekend. Who wouldn't want to be in this game? I, I, you know, people are like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm like, what are they going to do? They got to play us, too. I mean, this is a heck of an f- opportunity for us to go on the road, play a team that's 12-0, and that's 23-1 and in their last 24 football games. I mean, we're, we take the, the aspect that this is at their place. We got to go in there, and we've got to beat them. I mean, this is their, they have all the pressure on them. We talked this as a, a team yesterday or throughout the week they are the ones that have wanted this game they're the ones that have been calling for all this that Blair Oaks is overrated Blair Oaks is this Blair Oaks is that well you've got it it's your place you're undefeated you're 23 and 1 you have to pr- produce now and that's going to be some unique, extreme pressure on them and we're just going to go play we're going to go have some fun because it's going to be a fun football game we've been in football games like this before but this is the biggest game they're saying in the history of their school that's some pressure on those young men and uh, I welcome that for them because that's the opportunity that they they got a chance to step up they are really really good they're they're uh, extremely extremely physical but they're, they, they also have some flaws just like any high school football team so if, if we can go play and we play the way we're capable of it's going to be a heck of a football game and uh, we're not going to back down from it we're not scared of it we're actually excited about it and we we can't wait for kickoff you know you this is a team that's going to come in here and they are going to have all the hype if you've listened or seen anything which i do not have social media but it's been presented to me the amount of stuff they're saying they're going to have a tremendous amount of energy going we have to withstand the first first fastest of it and when it becomes a football game just play our game Of about eight yards. Third and long as Hare goes back to pass. Looking near side, throws, has a man, and it is Weber. Down the sidelines, he comes and says, does that clear? And Pringer dances out of bounds. He kept going, and he's inside Bowling Green territory at the 40-yard line, inside the 40, down to the 38-yard line. Hare on fourth down, moves Hall in motion to the left. Hare back to pass, throws into the sidelines. Hall's wide open, down the sidelines, stays in bounds. Is he in? Touchdown, Falcons! From 20 yards out, Hall went in motion and kept on coming, and nobody went with him, and Hall goes 20 yards into the end zone, and the Falcons are on the scoreboard with 8.03 to go in the first quarter, and it is the Blair Oaks Falcons leading, or is trailing now by the score of 8-6. to six. So the Falcons now, we're going to go for two. Hare runs it to the right side, throws on the run, diving catch by Klosser, and it's in for two. Nick Klosser gets the two-point conversion or we're tied. And track meet commences. 8.03 to go. First quarter. Blair Oaks 8 and Bowling Green 8 on MignoSportsOnline.com in Mexico. And Dave Lubering the, main, the facilities maintenance man from uh, Blair Oaks came by and picked us up here as Kirpin is now in the lineup as they go to Starks on first down. He doesn't get very much. Tried in over left guard and tackle and the Falcons were able to bring him down. This is an enormous offensive line. These guys are all the smallest goes 235 Pounds. And bring up now a second down for Bowling Green. They run up to the line of scrimmage. And Dalton, the quarterback, pitches to Stark around the right side this time. And the Falcons are trying to stack him up. And they're driving him to the side, and they get him down over on the far sidelines. Bryson Varner up on top. Split back backfield. They move Bryant in motion out to the left as the quarterback runs the option to the left side. And he is pulled down in the space. A nice play. As they come up, it was Alec Weberg. The corner came from the corner. Got Dalton down right at the line of scrimmage. We'll bring up third down and five. They have not punted. I think they've punted one time this season. So this is two down territory for Bowling Green right here from the 45. And on third and short, they give off to Starks, and he is thrown backwards. And the Falcons get in there. Doug Blaha leading the tackle for the Falcons. And Blaha runs Stark down for no gain on the play. So now a fourth down for Bowling Green. And they run like hair alone in the backfield. Moves a man in motion. It's hard. All off to the left, and Harris going to keep it himself. And here he comes up the field. He's in the clear. Harris to the 25, 30, 35. 
five and spilled out of bounds. And it's second down and a long nine now for the Falcons. Empty backfield behind here. Wings to either side. Hall moves in motion off to the left side. And Dillon takes the snap and goes back to pass. He's looking, looking, looking. He has all day. Throws the ball deep down the middle of the field. It's going to be caught by Joey Rooney. And this is going to be a touchdown. Falcons. 65 yards on the touchdown. Joey Wooley breaking behind the secondary. In the lead at 14 to 8. Snap back ball down. Laughlin kicks it high, long, and it is good. Falcons on the scoreboard again. Two drives, two touchdowns. A 65-yard pass from Hare to Wilby. And with three minutes to go in the first quarter, it is Blair Oaks 15 and a Bowling Green 8 to go. Hare takes the snap and hands to Lackman. And Lackman's got the first down and more. He's inside Bowling Green territory to about the 49-yard line. First and 10 for the Falcons. Lackman and that should do it for the first quarter of play. The Blair Oaks Falcons trail Bowling Green by the score of 16 to 15. As they move man in motion from right to left, it's Lackman. They fake the toss, and here goes back to pass. He sets, he throws deep down the field. Hall is wide open for a sideline to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and he's in for the touchdown, Falcons! They didn't cover Adam Hall coming out of the backfield, and Hall goes into the end zone from 51 yards up, and the Brooks Falcons are back on the scoreboard. And that is a 21-16 game now. It's left here in the second quarter of play. They hand off to Lackman, and Lackman's in the secondary, and he stood up, but he's going to get the better part of six yards before he's brought down by the uh, Bowling Green secondary. So line up, first down and 10 with Hare out of the empty backfield. Klosser in motion to the right side. Hare's going to keep it himself inside the 50. Puts his head down, keeps his feet. Bounce to the outside. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons. 49 yards for Dylan Hare. I thought he was dead stopped in the water, and all of a sudden he popped out. And here he went down the near sidelines, and Dylan Hare putting on a show here this afternoon. Ball's down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. It's into the wind, and it is good. 9.28 to go in second quarter. Blair Oaks now 28, Bowling Green 24 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Bowling Green after this timeout. All right, opening up massive holes in the Blair Oaks defense. On first down, Dalton back to pass. He sets. He looks. He throws deep down the middle. Pass the interception by the Falcons. It's Nick Crosser back at the 35-yard line. The pass went through the hands of the intended receiver that time, and that was growth the tight end. Went through his hands into the hands of Nick Crosser, and Crosser makes the interception. The Falcons get it back. And it has a high crown to it. Hare rolling to the near sidelines this time, and he throws on the run. Man, wide open. It's Pringer. Out to the 40, 45, 50. Pulls out of bounds inside Bowling, inside Bowling Green territory. Let's see where they'll mark him. The official running down the field, and let's see it is going to be, he's looking over here in an empty set, back to pass looking to his left, throws quickly and a stooping catch made by Wilby he couldn't keep his feet as he was tackled almost immediately on the play by Dylan Dalton, backfield with Hare, wing to the right side as Dylan's going to keep it himself, up the middle, he's in the secondary, makes a man miss, jumps over one man, spins out of a tackle and gets inside the 20 to about the 15 yard line That'll be enough for the first down. Lackman in the wing to the left side now. Hall in motion back to the left, and Hall gets the handoff around the left side. Good running room as he's going to be pushed out of bounds. He'll be right about the 10-yard line, I believe, as uh, bumped out there. Hare with Lackman. Hare hands to Lackman. Hayden's in the second level, and he's going to the end zone. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons! Hayden Lackman with a four-yard run and a touchdown. The Falcons are back in the lead. 429 to 32. Snap back ball down. Laughlin's got it high and long and good. 429 to play. Second quarter. Blair Oaks 35. Bowling Green 32 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. So first down and 10 for Bowling Green from their own 39-yard line as they run up to the line of scrimmage as they go from left to right here in the second quarter of play. Falcons crowd the line of scrimmage. Long count for Bowling Green. They hand to Starks. Starks starts out right, cuts back up the middle, and he's rushes down. 
Bryson Varner, among others, on the tackle for the Falcons. And also uh, right here, two clock running with 3.53 to go second quarter. Split back this time as Dalton hands off. And uh, Blaine Blanton tries to run over the right side, and he's thrown back. Blaine Bryant maybe got a yard on the play out to the 43-yard line. And no more other than that. Green Wave on their feet now, cheering for defense. Third down and about six for Bowling Green from their own 43-yard line. They're up to the line of scrimmage out of the eye formation. Move the man in motion as they will roll to the left side and try to pass. The quarterback being chased to the backfield. He is hit, and he is brought down in the backfield. Alec Weber ran him down along the far sidelines and dropped him. Alec Weber coming from the safety from the uh, safety position on the blitz, and he drops Dalton for a loss on the play. 236, uh, 243 passing for Hare in the first half. On first down, Hare's going to take the quarterback draw up the middle. Down the middle of the field he comes. Great move with the 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, near sidelines. He's going to turn. He's going to score. Touchdown, Falcons. In midfield as he ran up the crown, but was able to keep his feet. He goes 70 yards for a touchdown. Falcons back on the scoreboard, and Harris over 200 yards rushing already. And it be Louisville. Dylan put it all out there as the Blair Oaks Falcons run off here at halftime in Bowling Green with a 41 to 32 lead. Along with Chase Rackers, it's a high end over end kick heading over towards Wildy. Wildy fields it at the 15. Back across the field, here he comes. And he cuts it up the middle of the field now. Gets out across the 20 to about the 25 yard line. And that's the yard line. Hare moves Closser in motion back from right to left and hand him some the football. Nick around the right side as he puts his head down. And he's going to be very close to the first down. Out across the 45 yard line on the far sidelines. And they'll mark him out where? At the 44 or so. As Hare calls for the snap, takes the snap, runs to his right. He's looking to pass, and he knows he's going to keep it. He's going to keep it around the right side, fakes a pass at the last minute. Down the sidelines he goes, and he skips out of bounds. Oh, he keeps himself inbounds. He's still on his feet, middle of the field. Hare back across the field, 20, and slides down. And he's got hits late, and here comes the flag in. Bowling Green was happy to have been able to throw him down, and they finally did get him down and then piled on on top. Tandem receivers to either side. Ball in the near hash mark. Lackman in the slot to the left side as Hare throws to the left side and has a man, and skipping out of bounds with it is Joey Wildey as he gets it inside the 20 down to uh, about the... Th- yeah, this will be a third down, and Hare will call for the ball. Falcons in two-down territory. Inside the 20-yard line. Hare back to pass. Quickly down the middle. His man wide open as Hall. Hall going to the end zone. And he is going to be short of the end zone. Now touchdown, Falcons. Touchdown, Falcons. Adam Hall down the middle of the field. Goes in from 19 yards. Adam, the Falcons are back on the scoreboard. Adam Hall tumbles in. No five to go in the third quarter. And the Blue Oaks Falcons lead. Bowling Green by the score of 47-32 on MidnoSportsOnline.com. Um, this is a situation that Bowling Green is not used to, but a lot of time left on the clock as they hand off to Blaine Bryant on first down, and the first man through on the I formation gets out across the 45 to about the 46. He'll be marked to just shy of the 46-yard line, and it'll bring up now a second down and five. The five-yard kickoff return. Second down, they run up to the line of scrimmage, and they Dalton is going to keep it himself in over left guard and tackle as he sent a couple of men into the line and dove in behind him, and he brings it out across the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Give him a gain of three yards on the play. And on, on first down, Dalton turns, and man hit in the backfield. Bryson Varner drives his man all the way back towards the midfield stripe as a handoff to Blaine Bryant. And Bryson Varner came through untouched at the 13-yard line of Blair Oaks. Bowling Green quickly up to the line of scrimmage. They move a man to the left side and hand off to Starks. He's hit in the backfield and pulled down. We got a lose yardage that time. And once again, it was Carson Lubering coming through. Lubering, the freshman, beaten up on the Blair Oaks on the Bowling Green offensive line. Line of scrimmage at the 14-yard line. Starks in motion to the right side as Dalton goes back to pass. He's hitting down. Back in the backfield. Safety blitz. Alec Weaver back across the 20 at the 24-yard line. 
Loss of 10 yards on the play. The Blair Oaks, 24-yard line on fourth down. Dalton back to pass. Here comes the rush again, and he is pulled down in the backfield. Falcons get him. Bryson Varner, among others. Back there to pull him down, and also Carson Lubery. How about that man? 15 years old. 229 to play in the third quarter. Now they empty the backfield. Lackman is in the slot to the left side. Hare calls for the snap. Looks to his left, quickly throws, has a man. It's Wilde. He comes down, looks at his feet, and did he get him down? Yes, he did. Joey Wilde, an acrobatic catch on the sideline for the first down. He looked down as he caught the ball, made sure his feet were inbounds, and it's an eight yard gain in the first down. Empty backfield behind Hare. Now he moves a man in motion, fakes to Varner as Hare goes back to pass, throws the ball down the near sideline. Lackman's open. 30, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Falcons! 2.07 to play, third quarter. Columbia's getting near. It's 53-32. A backbreaker, Rackman. And the Falcons up now to the line of scrimmage as uh, Laughlin kicks the extra point. And the Falcons add on to the lead. Two minutes, seven seconds to go. Third quarter. Blair Oaks 54. Bowling Green 32. First down at 10 for Bowling Green from their own 37-yard line. They were up to the line of scrimmage out of the I formation. He puts it to Starks. He's in the backfield and hemmed in and down he goes. Low green on the play. Falcons get in over the right side. And once again, it looked like Weberg leading the tacklers over there for the Falcons. Halleck is having a heck of a raw game. One for seven. Third down and ten now for Bowling Green. Clock stopped. 1.15 to go. Third quarter. Blair Oaks 54. Bowling Green 32. Split backfield on third and long. Dalton back to pass. Rolling to his right. Still rolling, still rolling. Throws down the sidelines. And the pass is incomplete. Incomplete. They were throwing the ball down the field looking for Starks. And Starks had run down the sidelines quite a ways down to about the 30-yard line. And Jace Rackers was over there, delivered a hit on Starks as the ball skipped past. Eight carries, 42 yards for Hayden Lackman. And that will do it for three quarters of play here in Bowling Green. The Blair Oaks Falcons one quarter away from the Showy Bowl. Leading Bowling Green 54-32 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. On first down and 10 for the Falcons. They hand off to Hall around the right side. And Adam's got good running room. Down the sidelines he goes. One man to beat. Adam Hall is going to be pushed out of bounds. And they'll mark him out of bounds. Where do they put him? They will they move Lackman to the left side. Now move Klosser from a right to left. And Nick gets the handoff. Jet sweep left side to the 10, to the 5. Klosser's going to the end zone. And he is knocked out just short. Just short as here. Under center, and he'll take the snap, and he'll hand off, and there goes Bryson Varner to the end zone for the touchdown. Bryson Varner, the left wing back, goes in for the touchdown on his first carry of the afternoon. And we'll give him a yard, two yards on that score. The Falcons are back on the scoreboard with 10.40 to go in the fourth quarter. The 10.40 mark of the fourth quarter. Blair Oaks leading Bowling Green by the score of 60-40 to 40 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. Defense digging in again. You would expect Bowling Green to try to throw the ball as much as they can. They are not comfortable doing it, but they will do it. Dalton under center out of the eye formation. On second down, hands to Bryant. He lost the football, stripped out of his hands, and Bryant fell on it back in his own territory back in the 45-yard line. He lost seven yards on the play, but Blaine Bryant. Dalton comes in from the sidelines. Third down and about 18 from the 44-yard line of Bowling Green. On third and long, Dalton back to pass. Here comes a rush. He's wrapped up, and Weaver got him again. Back at the 35-yard line of Bowling Green. A loss of nine yards on the play. It was Alec Weaver on the safety blitz. Huge play coming up. Third down and long for the Falcons. Their 21-yard line. Hair back to pass. Looking, looking down the middle of the field. It is caught by Willie, and he's in bounds over the far side at the 35-yard line. Joey Willie somehow got his feet down on a high ball from Hair. Out of the shotgun with Pringer moving from right to left, and they hand off to Lackman, and Hayden powers his way. Thin the secondary. He pops down the side at 40, 35, 30, 25. Cuts back. Makes a man miss. He's going to score. Hayden Lackman is going to score. 48-yard 
Rush for the touchdown. Touchdown, Falcons. That's a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. Hayden Lackman, 48 yards for the touchdown. 5.24 to play in the football game. It is Blair Oaks 66, Bowling Green 48 on midmostsportsonline.com. We'll return to Bowling Green. Bowling Green comes running up to the line of scrimmage. And on first down, they pitch it wide left to Starks. And Starks get hit and knocked down. Brady Kerperin there on the tackle for the Falcons. As they were coming down the hill on the uh, crown of the field. And uh, Brady ambushed. On to second down. I formation in the backfield. Dalton back to pass. Here comes the rush. He is wrapped up. Keeps going, though. And he's finally pulled down for a loss in the backfield. Holden Brand got back there first, but then it was Brady Kirpern on the tackle for the Falcons, and he was assisted on the play by Carson Lubering. 13 from the 25-yard line. Out of the eye. Dalton is hit by Weinberg. He keeps going, but then Kirpern finishes him off. Loss in the backfield. Back about another five yards. It was Varner who got there first, and then Marshall along with Lubering and others. Dalton, the quarterback, is in shotgun. Takes the snap, goes back to pass. Throws it for all he's worth. Down the field, the ball is up for grabs. It's knocked down by the Falcons. The Falcons knock it down on the near sidelines. Getting up to knock it down was Nick Klosser. And the Falcons get the ball back on down. So tough, so powerful all day today. As Hare takes the snap and takes the knee. And that will do it. The Blairhawks Falcons move on to the Shelly Bowl. The Lamar Tigers said they wanted Blair Oaks. They've got Blair Oaks. Here we come, Lamar. The Blair Oaks Falcons take care of the Bowling Green Bobcats on the road in the state semifinals as they knock off the Bowling Green Bobcats. The final, the Blair Oaks Falcons, 66, and the Bowling Green Bobcats, 48, on midmostsportsonline.com. We will return to Bowling Green and take a look at this wild and woolly football game after this timeout on midmostsportsonline.com. Come.